Let's talk about trend lines and all of the ways you can draw trend lines on TradingView and really quickly add them to your chart just by clicking a starting point and an ending point, then double clicking to adjust its settings such as its color or the look and feel of it, and as well as adding some other unique features such as extending it to the left, extending the line to the right, showing the middle point, or even showing its angle and its bar range and other unique little stats and pieces of information about the trend line you drew. Let's dive into it. And you know what? Let's actually start over. We're going to delete this trend line and we're going to start from the basics. So your trend line tool is right here and it is in the menu called trend line tools. Click it to open that. Select your trend line and then find a starting point and an ending point. And as you click your starting point, what you'll notice is the trend line will follow your mouse around wherever you go. Then you want to pull your mouse to the point where you think you've drawn your trend line perfectly. And you want to click again to set it. So now the trend line is set there on the chart. To adjust its settings, just double click and you can control its visibility its coordinates, you can add text directly on the trend line. So in this case, we could write bullish trend. And you can even control the positioning of that text. So for example, why don't we move this to the left? So now here it is on the left. And if we go to style, as we showed you earlier, you can change the style of this trend line. Let's make it a solid line. And we're also going to uncheck each of these boxes. Now, these boxes are really helpful if you want to show specific stats. So if you're looking for the most detailed analysis about your trend line, make sure you check some of these boxes. As an example, you could do show price range. This is a really cool feature because now we can see the price range of the trend line from the starting point to this point, we see it's a 27% move, and we see some other basic information about it. Double click, and we can choose to hide that information or show it. Or if we want to see, for example, how steep the angle is, you know, how far is this trend line uh, going up into the right or down into the right? Well, you could show the angle of it to get a sense of how steep it is. Let's not show that though for now. So those are the basic features of the trend line. Now, why would you even use trend lines in the first place? Well, you want to use trend lines to slow down a little, to back up and do some research, maybe to look for moments in time where other people are respecting price action. So what we're doing right now is we are circling these moments in time where price hit the trend line and then continued upward. So you can kind of see that it's hit bounce. It's almost bouncing off this trend line and continuing upward. So that is how trend lines can be used. That's a one example. There is no such thing as a 100% strategy. You have to get in, dive in, and try these tools yourself. Now here's another helpful tip about this. If you've drawn your trend line, you can very quickly check if you missed any points by extending the line. So watch us extend the line to the left. See that? Just extend it all the way to the left. We can uncheck it. It'll be removed. But let's extend it to the left. Now, the reason why this is so interesting is you can now see other moments in time where this trend line was important. Look at this. It also had an interesting price action here, and there was some big red volume bar or big red bars here sorry here as well so now you can really start to circle these price points on your chart and get a feel for other moments in time where the trend line was respected are there other people like you who are potentially buying off these trend lines that's some of the information you're looking to find out so that you can make better decisions now as an example again you could use this trend line to slow down a little. Do you really just want to rush in and buy right here, right now, without any research? Or would you rather slow down, get a sense of this trend line, maybe do some other research? For example, this was the previous all-time high. So we can click there and draw this trend line. These were the two previous all-time highs. This trend line seems to be respected quite a bit circling the points again 
and now what we'll do is we will actually extend it back left because we can also have this point there and now what we're seeing is okay maybe it makes sense to wait maybe we want to see what happens first if price does manage to either you know really take off and go beyond these previous all-time highs or if it comes back down and tests this longer term trend line you can slow down now and have some patience. There's no need to chase price without doing your research first or finding uh, some price levels that are interesting to you. So those are all the features of trend lines. And we also just want to quickly give you a few more helpful tips when drawing trend lines on TradingView. So if you click your trend line tool and hold shift, what's pretty cool is you can draw a perfect trend line and if you hold shift and move it, so click your trend line, hold shift, it will move at a 45 degree angle whenever you're holding shift. This is helpful so that you can draw perfectly straight lines with your trend line or trend lines with exact 45 degree angles. So there we are. And we've drawn our trend line just like that across the top to mark this very interesting moment on this chart where the previous all-time highs are sort of acting as this uh, choppy resistance area. Now, we're going to say again, there is no such thing as a strategy that works 100% of the time. And trend lines can be drawn in all sorts of ways. Some people actually prefer to look for tr you know, these resistance trends uh, or these moments of uh, downtrend where price is going down into the right and it's having a hard time breaking above that line. Others like to look for more typical moments of resistance, as we showed you, so just straight lines across the top. And then, of course, there are people who look for even just straight lines across the bottom. It's a, it's a moment of uh, support for them. They see that uh, there's these two or three bars here that kind of respected these levels. So then they extend these levels out with this trend line, and maybe they'll just set a limit order and wait for it to come to that price level. So this is the basics of trend lines and how you can use them on TradingView. Remember, it's right up here. Click trend line and you are good to go. We want to show you another tip before we end this video, and it's called magnet mode. See this magnet button here? What this is going to do is snap your trend line to the nearest open, high, low, or close. That's OHLC, open, high, low, or close. So we're going to select the strong magnet, and this is just a difference in sensitivity. How hard do you want that trend line to snap? Gently or right away and with quickness and strength? We're going to select strong magnet because we want our trend line to connect to the nearest open, high, lower close to draw the most perfect trend line. So we click this. We get this little message here to remind us how magnet mode works. We're going to exit that. Make sure our trend line tool is selected. Now watch this. We click and watch how much watch how different the trend line tool is already acting. It's snapping to every single open high low close it comes across. So that's all it's connecting to. And what we can do is find that perfect open high low close right there. Done. So now it's touching an open high lower close on every single candle here specifically the one we uh, we select at the end this is really important for drawing precise precise trend lines that factor in price because when you click it at this point with magnet mode on it is going to snap to it perfectly and when you don't have magnet mode on it's a little more like free drawing because you may miss a price level or you may uh, you know, over click or click just a little below it or maybe you click a little above it. But when you have your magnet mode on, it will snap like that. And there it is, it's snapped to the price. Then we can double click and extend it right out into the future. And here we are, we'll save the chart and our trend line is right here. Keep in mind, this works for all asset classes. It, you could be looking at anything, whether it is a, uh, a chart of Bitcoin or whether it is a chart of the Euro USD, you could just take your trend line, look for something unique. Maybe you think that this is a moment you want to watch and then click and it's on your chart. And every time you save it, 
your trend line will remain there. For example, let's go back to the chart we started with. Here's our trend line. So thanks for watching and we hope that this video helps you get started with trend lines. Please leave any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.